Welcome to today's daily video devotional. My name is Brent and I am so glad that you're joining me today. Have you ever met someone that was really impressive and they intimidated you? Or maybe you thought you were the deal? Well, wherever you are on that spectrum, whether you think you're the greatest or the worst, you're wrong. And today we're going to help you get some insight onto a better mentality and a healthier mentality. So stay with me. I'm going to tell you all about it. It's a great day to be alive. Well, thanks so much for staying with me. So today we're going to jump right into our first passage of scripture, and it's found in Proverbs chapter 8, verses 14 to 21 in the Passion Translation. Here's what it says. You will find true success when you find me. For I have insight into wise plans that are designed just for you. I hold in my hands living understanding, courage, and strength. I empower kings to reign and rulers to make laws that are just. I empower princes to rise and take dominion, and generous ones to govern the earth. I will show my love to those who passionately love me, for they will search and search continually until they find me. Unending wealth and glory come to those who discover where I dwell. The riches of righteousness and a long, satisfying life will be given to them. What I impart has greater worth than gold and treasure, and the increase I bring benefits more than a windfall of income. I lead you into the ways of righteousness to discover the paths of true justice. Those who love me gain great wealth and a glorious inheritance, and I will fill their lives with treasures. So, do you ever wonder why you even exist or how your life could be successful? Well, here's the interesting thing about that. When we read that passage, we actually find out that God's got that plan. And no matter what we do, no matter what we try, apart from him, we'll just never figure it out. We need to go to him with that plan. Now, you might have amazing gifts and skills that the world around you thinks are so incredible and impressive, and maybe they are. And people praise you for it. They celebrate you for it. It's gotten you promotion and success. But have you ever noticed how many successful people talk about how empty or miserable they can feel? It's like Kerry Newhoff said a million times before, you climb all the way to the top of the ladder only to realize you're leaning against the wrong wall. Maybe it's different for you. Maybe you feel like you look at your life and your gifts and go, I don't even think I have anything worth anything. What am I even going to do with what I've got? Well, this passage brings us back to an incredible truth that God's got that plan that he will lay that out for us. But we need wisdom and understanding. I wrote this when I was uh, prepping for the message this week, and this is what God was putting on my heart. When our idea of success becomes bound to the idea of being impressive instead of obedient to God, we become bound to the uninformed opinions of those around us. Let me say that again. When our idea of success becomes bound to the idea of being impressive, instead of obedient to God, we become bound to the uninformed opinions of those around us. What do I mean by that? Well, simple. Some of us look at the gifts and abilities that we have as little or meaningless because we haven't even entered the arenas where they would blossom and flourish yet because we haven't been obedient to God to just take the next step right in front of us, to use what we've already been given. And some people who have great gifts and great skills and great abilities haven't really fully realized what those are for yet either, and they feel empty because they haven't done it in obedience to God. They haven't just done what God's asked them to do with it. Let me read for you another scripture this morning. 1 Peter 5, 6-7 in the Message Translation says this, So be content with who you are, and don't put on airs. God's strong hand is on you. He'll promote you at the right time. Live carefree before God. He is most careful with you. Focus on wisdom and obedience to God. Follow it his way. Imagine you gave someone an incredible gift and they didn't understand it, so they looked at it and went, no thanks, take it back. That's kind of how it is when we take what God's given us and we go, it's not really worth anything. It's really in a lot of ways like saying, 
God, I don't think you actually knew what you were doing. Here you go. And we miss what could be so incredible. This isn't about being a success in the world's eyes. This isn't about having notoriety and attention and popularity. This is about obedience to what God's asked you to do. And that will bring the kind of life that we really want. Let me read another passage of scripture for you that God put on my heart, like literally minutes before I started filming this. 1 Corinthians 10, 31, the Passion Translation says this. Whether you eat or drink, live your life in a way that glorifies and honors God. The best way to bring God glory and honor is to simply use whatever he's given you on his terms, his way. What skills, what talents, what interests do you have that you could use to bring glory and honor today to God just by engaging it? Maybe you think, I just, I like encouraging people. That's one of my favorites. And you know what? It's something that sometimes I can just encourage others and not really think too much of it because I just kind of go on with my day. I do what God asks me to do. But then you find out later how much that really meant to them. And you go, man, something as simple as encouraging someone can be so huge in their lives. But it takes just a little bit of time for us to do it. A little bit of time to send that text that the Holy Spirit's put on your heart. A little bit of time just to pray for someone at the end of a phone call. I don't know what it is that God's given you, but I know that he's given you something, and I know that he's called you to something. And his word makes it very clear that when we do it his way on his terms and bring him glory and honor, that man, he blesses our lives incredibly. So, take an action step with me today. Just write out a little list of things that God's blessed you with. Write out a small list of or big list maybe for you, of things that you're good at, that you really enjoy, and just ask the Holy Spirit, hey, how can I use some of these or all of these today to bring glory and honor to you and to help someone else? And then just go and do it, as simple as it might be. God's got something incredible for you, and we don't want you to miss it. So engage it. Use what you've got. Use what he's given you. And find the life that he's planned for you. Now, before we go today, if you haven't decided to begin a relationship with Jesus, I want to invite you to the wisest decision you could ever make, one that will transform your life. And right now, if you're ready to begin that and let God take the lead in your life, why don't you just repeat after me and believe these words in your heart and begin a relationship with Jesus right now. Jesus, I thank you that you love me, that you care for me, and you want a relationship with me. I choose now to believe that you died on the cross and rose again to forgive me of my sins, but also to transform my life into the dream and the vision that you have for it that will bring glory and honor to you and bless others, and also it'll bless my life. I'm going to learn to love you, and I'm going to learn to trust you, and I'm going to need a lot of help. So help me, and you're in charge now. You take the lead. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, I also pray for my brothers and sisters watching right now that maybe they have overinflated their gifts or maybe they've underappreciated their gifts. God, whatever they are on that spectrum, help us bring it to the healthy alignment of all we are called to do is trust you and be obedient and you empower the rest. And that brings glory and honor to your name. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. If you or someone you know would like or even need prayer, please email us, pray at the pc.ca. We would love to do that for you. And if you just gave your life to Jesus, congratulations, this is the greatest decision you have ever made. And we're so excited for you and we don't want you going it alone. So please also email us, pray at the pc.ca. We wanna help you out. And before we go today, some of you know this, the new ones might not have heard it yet, we love you, we appreciate you, and I'll see you tomorrow.